Hey, it's Len Cameraman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a module that you can use to share some basic lead details. So let's say you're not sharing your leads between multiple salespeople, but they need to know if a lead already exists and have a way to check that without sharing all the details and the interactions and you know, scheduled activities and things like that. So what you can do is you can create another module that just has maybe the name and the email address. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and create a new module for that. Now to do that, I have to be on the enterprise edition, um, which is the almost top version. There's also ultimate, but most people that want all the functionality, they're on enterprise or it's what comes with Zoho one. So you'll need that in order to do this. Also, just to note the approach I'm going to use will create a record that shows those details from whatever you put in when the lead was created, but it won't continue to push details over. There's, there's scripting and it's a more sophisticated solution, but just to show you a quick and dirty way to do this with uh, point and click workflow. So I'm, I've gone into the setup area here where all the good stuff is, and then I'll go into modules and fields and I'll create a new module and click up here to give it a name. So I give it the plural first. So I'll call this, Feed directory record. Okay, you probably come up with something better. Um, directory records. It's basically a record that's going to show the email address and a name and company of leads that I create. All right, so that's here. Uh, it's got to have a name. That's fine. I'm going to copy over the name from the lead record here. Actually, just to make sure, just in case I get one that's just got an email address and a company or something like that. Um, I shouldn't get any leads like that, but I'm going to, I'm just going to auto number this. Um, that's fine. So it's going to give a number to each of these. And then I'll want a field for first name. And I'll want a field for last name. And perhaps one for company, whatever details you're okay sharing. Uh, maybe that's, I'll put that in there. Uh, maybe I don't even want to have the phone numbers uh, shared or the email. I'll put the email address in. Someone might search by email and then I don't need any of this other stuff. I can leave it here or I can take it out. Won't, won't really make a whole lot of difference. I'm going to just clean it up a little and pull out the uh, email address. I don't need to see created by in here. Okay. And then I do want this to link back to the record that created it just for reference. So I'm going to go in and create a lookup. So I have a lead record that I'm creating. When I create it, it's going to create this lead directory record that will sort of parallel it and give other users a place where they can go and see if someone exists. Now, they're still going to need to check this. It won't prevent them from creating duplicates otherwise. It's just basically a way to give us a directory to see um, leads that are in the system without having to share all of those lead details uh, with, with everyone on, on the sales team. And then the related list name, I'll call this directory record because there should only ever be one. Uh, we have to have it filled in. It will get created every time, so we're good. Okay, so now I've created this lead directory record and I'll choose to give access to whichever profile should be able to see it. In my case, I want to make sure everyone can see these. So I've got administrators and standard users in my demo system here. Okay. So now that record is created. Now you'll be able to see, I'll have these lead directory records. There aren't any of them right now. So here's basically what I'm looking to automate. When someone creates a new lead, And so I'll call this Anita C. -M. Yeah, that's my really creative demo name this morning. Um, Anita Acme org and maybe companies Acme. I have someone fill in these details and start recording follow ups, and I don't want to share all that info, but I do want that information to show up in a lead directory record. So I'm doing this manually right now, but here's where we're going with this. Now, I probably can't remember how I spelled this. R M 
Acme and D.4G. So the idea is, uh, yeah, I've got to link that back to the record I created. Okay, so the, the idea is, regardless of who owns the leads, everyone should be able to go in and see this list. Now, I can customize the fields that show up here by changing the view so I can see the company, see the email address. And then when I do a search, even if I don't have access to the actual lead record, I'll see a list of this lead and I'll know that that lead exists. And if the idea is that I don't touch, you know, leads that somebody else has put in already, then I don't need to create that one. Okay, so that's, if I was doing it manually, that's how I'd create the records. Now we're gonna plug in a workflow that will be able to create this. So I'll go to the settings icon here and then into automation, go to workflow rules. And this is my demo system. So I've got all kinds of wild stuff in here. Well, maybe not that wild, but lots of testing things anyways. All right, so for the module, I want this to run for leads. I'll call this create directory record. Enough to remind me what on earth this thing is for. And it's, I want this to trigger on creation of a lead. So the record action is create. And then I want it to apply to all leads, regardless of what gets filled in. And then the action that I want to take is to create a record. And the record type that I'm going to create is my lead directory record. And the owner um, of this doesn't matter too much. You could set a specific user. Okay. I'm going to set it to the owner of the lead. That way I can look at the list and someone might want to know who that lead belongs to. Okay. And then the related lead is the current record. The currency, I have multi-currency on here. So we have to set something that doesn't matter. Um, but here I'm going to set that and then I can put additional fields in. So the, for the first name, I'm typing the pound symbol to get to this list. I'll grab the first name of the lead. And then I want to put in the last name of the lead. And hang on. I want to put in the email address of the lead. And then I want the company here. See, I'm just, it's putting in whatever the next field is. I'm changing this so that I get first name, last name, email, and company. And then grab the company from the lead record. So I'm telling it when a lead gets created, regardless of the lead criteria, all leads, I want to create a lead directory record using the standard layout. It's the only one I have. I'm going to relate it to the current lead and set the currency to default uh, USD because I have to. And I'm going to pass in the lead first name, last name, email, and company. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and save this. And I'll hit save here. And now if I've done this correctly and otherwise, uh, I will have to edit this video to fix it. But assuming I've had enough coffee this morning and this is all going to work correctly. Now, when I go to that leads record, I'll add a new lead and I'll say that this is the need more caffeine co and this is I'll throw in my details on this one because I could use another coffee. All right. Um, so now I've got that filled out. Now I can put in whatever other details. Okay. I don't, I just use the lead record as I usually would. I'm going to fill this in, but here is the cool thing. So now I'll hit save. And now, now I can see it's related here because that related list because we linked our directory record back to the lead, I can go down here and I can see there's a, now I can change the fields on this. I mean, it's going to be pretty obvious. I should have the lead details there that have been passed along. But basically what I've done now is just by me putting the lead in, I've created the lead directory record. Now I won't go ahead and demo this, but if we wanted proof and you were testing this out, what you would do is log in as a user who doesn't have access to that lead, but search for, um, search for Len Cameraman and this record will come up and you can see the, the details of it and know that that lead exists without giving access to the other lead. Uh, 
I'm just changing the fields that are in here so we can see the company, first name, last name. Uh, we could pull up the modified time. This will just take to the end. That's the automatic number we threw in there. Uh, I'll put the owner here as well. Maybe I'll put the company in here and email down there. Boom. Okay, so now this is pretty uh, easy to read and let's just see. So it takes a minute or so to index things. So this search might not show up yet. Uh, lead director record. Yeah, it actually did. Same deal here. I can change the fields that I'm seeing. So this is a whole lot more useful. Otherwise, I just see the name, but I want to put the first name and the last name in. So now when I'm searching, even though I don't have access to the leads necessarily, I'll still see the lead director record and I know that lead exists. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Create the module, stick a workflow in place that will create it. Um, just one thing to keep in mind here, this does not do anything with updates. If I go and realize that you know, Len actually goes by Leonard and I change the lead record, that's not gonna push the changes here. I need a script to do that. That gets a little bit more sophisticated, but for a quick and dirty way to show if a contact of a certain company exists here, this will get it done. All right, hope that helps. Take care.